welcome. Do the, is the green light supposed to be on to show that it's recording? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll start over. Welcome, everyone. This is a special meeting of Downers Grove Grade School District 58, Board of Education, Thursday, April 25th, 2019, at 5 p.m. at Longfellow Center. Melissa, will you please? Hello. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Member Doshi. Here. Member Harris. Here. Member Hughes. Here. Member Miller. Here. Member Samanti. Here. Member Siegel. Here. Member Purcell. Here. Uh, first is the approval of the minutes. Are there any suggested revisions to the minutes as presented in the packet of materials? Okay. If not, is there a motion to approve the minutes of the April 8, 2019 meeting as presented? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carried to approve the minutes of the April 8, 2019 meeting as presented. Next, is there a motion to approve the minutes of the April 8, 2019 closed session meeting as presented and keep them closed to the public due to the confidential nature of the contents? Any, Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carried to approve the minutes of the April 8, 2019 closed session meeting as presented and keep them closed to the public. Uh, next is the declaration of election results. Based on the information received from DuPage County Election Commission, the results of the election held on April 2, 2019 declare the following candidates elected to their respective office as members of the Board of Education of the Downers Grove Grade School District 58 to serve for four years. Emily Haynes and Stephen Olchek. And Karat Doshi. Uh, and the following candidate was elected to, sue, to serve for two years, uh, Tracy Weiner. Um, next, uh, we have Dr. Kremis Golan with a presentation for Member Siegel, who missed the last meeting. Yes, thank you. Um, at our last regular meeting, we did um, all share some words of appreciation for our outgoing board members. And this evening, um, because Elizabeth wasn't able to join us last time, we wanted to um, make mention and recognize Elizabeth for her many years of service as well. So, Elizabeth, thank you so much for your your tireless service to this board and our community on behalf of our staff, our students, our families, and our community as a whole. We are incredibly grateful for your service and your time on this board, and we want to thank you for that. Thank you very much. Mr. Peter. Okay. No further comments. Anyone else? Okay. I'll just share it since you're doing this. We are. Uh, we were lucky to have served with you, and I've only been able to serve with you for a year. Um, but in my year, you have been a huge help in helping me on board. And so, uh, as one representative on the board, I just want to you know that I'm going to try my best to continue your legacy of uh, putting our students first, keeping the board in line with what our rules and procedures are and should be. Uh, you're going to leave a pretty large hole for us to be and have to figure out how to fill. Uh, we'll do our best and we hope to make you proud of that. I appreciate that. I look forward to seeing. I, I think our district's going in a really strong direction and I am excited to see to see where it goes. And I have two more years with uh, Kyle here in the district. So I will have a bird's eye view and I, I'm sure you guys are just gonna take the district in a really great direction. Mm -hmm. And so I, I wish everyone a lot of luck and enjoy my parking days. <laughs> Thanks. I, 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 just, I think I thanked you last time when I talked but you weren't here, but uh, you were by far the hardest working board member that I, I had to serve with, and I worked with a lot of hard working board members. Doug, you busted your hump too a lot of times, and, and, and always kept us going. But Elizabeth, you you were always like the first to raise your hand. Uh, you you tried to build bridges even when others were trying to burn bridges. Um, you, you, yeah, you you were much appreciated. I I, I think the rest of you are going to find out that she did. And you're going to have a lot more work to do because she sucked up a lot of that work that uh, multiple board members had done in the past. So uh, I just uh, I really really liked working with you. Uh, 
and, and I already thanked Doug the last time, so I, it's not that I'm leaving Doug out, but uh, I just wanted to make sure you understood how much we appreciated you. No, I, I appreciate that, and I learned a lot from serving with you. I feel like we've gotten closer over the last two years, which the first two years kind of go by in a blur. <laughs> um, and, and so it's really been valuable to see the difference you can make. And, I, you know, obviously I tend to take a more behind-the-scenes role, um, but I, I take a lot of pride in what we've accomplished and what we've all accomplished together. And so again, I'm just really excited to see where we're all going, but thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your continued hustle that you've done this year. And I know that I'm a better board member because you and I work so closely together on committees and, and, and otherwise. So, But I would also encourage you, um, a nice video got put together, obviously, of the statement that, that we made early on in the meeting. But both Doug and John spoke later in the full meeting. So even if you just skip ahead to that <laughs> section, but please take some time to listen to it. Uh, really talking about your four years uh, worth of service. Or, or feel free to watch the whole thing. But, um, we're watching men. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We need to double those watch certificates. <laughs> yeah. Hit, so. But I mean, it, it was. I, I really wish you could have been there on the 8th. But um, thank you so much for your hustle. Thank you so much for the work that you've done for District 58. All three of you, it's a better place now because of your service. So thank you. And I just, so I would echo everything. I, I, um, it's just been so great getting to know you. I know how hard you've worked for this community. I am in awe to all of, the, all of the, all of the board members, but to you three especially, and, and Elizabeth in particular, just how much you've sacrificed for our kids and for our community. And I think um, it's, it's a very difficult job that you've done it so well. And um, I just, I'm so appreciative of, of being able to work with you. You're an awesome person, and uh, I hope that I see you around town. And, and uh, as, even though your kids are. So moving on, well, I'm, I'm glad to call you a friend. I appreciate that. And one of my kids is looking for babysitting jobs, so. What a perfect plug. I wish too bad this isn't being recorded. It's being recorded. It's being recorded. We have a babysitter available. <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm the only one not thanking you, you, but <laughs> I thank people. In, you'll all be getting a, um, a note because I. That's how I do it thank as you. well. Yeah. Right, I brought that. So. Kyle, Kyle is stuck most of all because Kyle has heard many, many hours and hours and hours of conversations between, between you and Doug. Yeah, those are private, Kyle. <laughs> 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 Erase those. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, at this time, I will administer the oath of office to those newly elected board members. If you rise, raise your right hands, and together read aloud the oath of office. Do I have Oh, well, they get to read it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I handle it. Progress. Change happens. So this is a unison, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, I'll, start, I'll, I'll start you off. <laughs> Some, right? I, I solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of a member of the Board of Education of the Northern Road Great School District 58 in accordance with the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of the State of Illinois to the best of my ability. I further swear that I shall represent all school district constituents honestly and equally and refuse to surrender responsibilities to special interest or partisan political groups. Avoid any conflict of interest or the appearance of impropriety which could result from position and shall not be used for membership for personal gain or publicity. I shall respect taxpayer interests by serving as a faithful protector of school district assets. I shall recognize that a board member has no legal authority as an individual and that decisions can be made only by a majority vote at a public board meeting. I shall take no private action that might compromise the board or administration and shall respect the confidentiality of privileged information. I shall abide by majority decisions of the board while retaining the right to seek changes in such decisions through ethical and constructive channels. 
I shall encourage and respect the free expression of opinion by my fellow board members and others who seek a hearing before the board while respecting the privacy of students and employees and will participate in board discussions in an open, honest, and respectful manner, honoring differences of opinion or perspective. I shall respectfully listen to those who communicate with the board seeking to understand their views while recognizing the responsibility to represent the interests of the entire community. As part of the Board of Education, I shall accept the responsibility for my role in the equitable and quality education of every student in the school district. I shall prepare for, attend, and actively participate in board meetings. I shall be sufficiently informed about and prepared to act on specific issues for the board and remain reasonably knowledgeable about local, state, and national, and global education issues. I shall model continuous learning and will work to ensure good governance by taking advantage of the board member development opportunities, such as those sponsored by state and national school board associations, and encourage fellow board members to do the same. I shall foster with the board extensive participation of the community, formulate goals, define outcomes, and set the course for the school district. I shall strive to keep the board focused on its primary work of clarifying the district purpose, direction, and goals, and monitoring district performance. I shall insist in establishing a structure and an environment designed to ensure all students have the opportunity to attain their maximum potential through a sound organizational framework. I shall strive to ensure a continuous assessment of student achievement in all conditions affecting the education of our children in compliance with state law. I shall serve as education's key advocate on behalf of students and on community schools to advance the vision of the Dallas-Hill Grade School District of the I shall strive for a positive working relationship with the superintendent, respecting the superintendent's authority to advise the board, implement board policy, and administer the district. And I shall strive to work together with the district superintendent to lead the school district toward fulfilling the vision the board has created, fostering excellence for every student in the areas of academic skills, knowledge, citizenship, and personal development. Congratulations. <laughs> so at this time, newly elected board members are welcome to uh, make comments or on thoughts or whatever you like. Um, it's, it's interesting that this is an elected role. It means a lot for this to be an elected role. <coughs> we don't serve any one individual group or, or party or a group of people. Uh, there's a number of stakeholders that uh, we're here to support. And the one audience that doesn't have a voice in the election is our students. And so one thing that we want to be mindful of as board members is we're all here as a collective body to serve students. Uh, and so uh, as we think about our roles in this capacity, there's just a lot of honor put into being uh, on this side of the table uh, and a lot of responsibility that comes with it. And so I just want everybody to know that that's something that I know I personally and we all take very seriously uh, and hope that comes through in how we carry ourselves but also how, uh, how we make decisions and ultimately how we vote. So I uh, uh, just wanted to say thank you. Um, I am honored to uh, be appointed or elected to this position, and I'm very, very excited to join the District 58 School Board to work with the parents, the teachers, the administration, and the community to deliver the best education and opportunities for our students. Um, I also want to kind of echo that I am very um, honored that the community chose me to represent them on the board for 58. Um, I think it's a very exciting process to get started on. I'm really, really anxious to begin working together in close collaboration with the district administration, the superintendent, the other members of the board, the teachers and the building staff, and the parents in the community just to all work towards our one goal of giving our students the most high quality, innovative, modern education we possibly can. And I think 
when we work together towards that goal, there's nothing we can't achieve. Um, I want to thank the current board members, especially Elizabeth and Doug and John, for all your years of service. You guys really did a lot of hard work, put a lot of effort into getting us where we are today, and I think that that's to be extremely commended. Um, also to the board members who are remaining on the board, you guys have done a lot to kind of help get us started and are ready up to this point. A lot of communications back and forth to help us feel comfortable and ready to join the team and I appreciate that as well. I'm just really excited to get started. So. Well, I guess the short of it is thank you. Um, but uh, you know, I'm very humbled to um, by this privilege to represent the community um, and enjoying this great team. I really think this was a great team so hopefully we continue that. Um, I appreciate the support from everyone up here to kind of um, learn the ropes, um, kind of understand what I was getting into. So, so thank you very much. Um, and you know, you guys have really brought us up to speed in a very short amount of time. And so that, that learning curve, although it's very steep, I think it's a little bit shorter. Um, so, so thank you very much. Um, and I'm honored to continue the heavy lifting that's already been done. So I think that needs to be recognized, and I think it already has. Um, so there's a lot of great work underway that I'm very excited to be a part of. And then you know, I'm very excited to learn from each of you. Um, I think um, you know, we all come with a specific uh, perspective or a unique skill set, and I, I, I'd like to, to learn from each of you to, to make sure that we continue to move this, this issue forward. Um, in addition to the great wealth and expertise and unique perspective that each of you guys bring, um, you know, as I'm doing today, I just want to kind of emphasize three focus areas. Um, each of these three are near and dear to me from collaborating with the community, and the first is being um, supporting delivery um, curriculum development. Um, the second would be um, smart long-term facilities planning, and the, the third, um, last but not least, is transparent and candid communication with the community. I think all of the three of those are, are very important, and obviously there's much more um, than those three, but I just want to emphasize these three today because I... Um, I just want everyone to kind of appreciate my uh, perspective out of the gate. Obviously, that's going to be influenced and changed uh, drastically as I kind of get in, in, into everything. Um, but I want you guys all to, to hold me to that standard as I kind of lay forth those, those three focus areas. Um, please, please hold me to that. Um, you know, once again, I'm very excited and, and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. Um, it's been, it's been wonderful. Eight years on the board, a lot of hard work, and I'm sure you're all up to the task. Uh, you're all really excited, and uh, I work with Karat, and I'm sure, I'm sure the three new people will, you guys will do a great job. So, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, go ahead. Sure. I don't think I'll count as reception visitors, but I would like to welcome and thank the four new board members, Karat included. Um, for your willingness to serve this district. Um, I, I do think that there's been a lot of heavy lifting over the last couple of years. I think the district is really well poised uh, to be incredibly successful in the next several years, and I know it will be because of your leadership that helps to continue that path forward and ensure the greatest of services to our students and to our community. So thank you for taking on this uh, really important role for our community. I know you'll do a really good job of it. Um, and thank you to our outgoing board members as well for all of your hard work. Um, you, you've left a legacy here, and, and I think moving forward, will, it will be impactful. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is the reception of visitors. This is an opportunity for members of the audience to share comments with the board. Uh, do we have any comment cards? Or, okay, would anyone like to speak? I actually would. Please. Stand up. State your name and attendance area, please. So, uh, I'm Doug Weiner, Tracy's husband. I'm beyond proud to, uh, to be here. Um, I am thoroughly humbled by what just happened. Like, sitting there, listening to you read through the oath was, like, really powerful. I don't know how many other people in the community actually get a chance to kind of grasp everything that goes into it. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm kind of thinking about all this stuff. And it's a, it's a big deal. I'm, I'm proud of the folks that we were elected. I'm proud of the folks that we've had in the community. Um, for uh, for the folks that just made the oath, like they have a clear idea of what's out in front of them, what they're trying to be uh, adhered to. For folks that uh, are staying on board, I think that hopefully reinvigorates you. The thought of uh, when you hear newly uh, 
re- redoing their vows or any kind of same thing. Hopefully, you're making that same connection with kind of the same level of commitment that they're not going to adhere to. And then for our outgoing members, I would say, you know, while you're not necessarily a uh, an individual that's you know participating in that, you'll hopefully still carry that same level of commitment and the same you know kind of. Commitment to the oath in terms of how you work with the community and how you work with the board. So I genuinely think there's a great opportunity here for everybody to work together. Uh, our existing, new, outgoing, and um, and Dr. Kramskoy, all the best in terms of taking you know, that same kind of commitment to where you're headed in the next community. So I'm really proud of it. So thank you all. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I'm Julie Beckwith, I teach at Puffer, so I'm a DGEA member. Um, so I just want to say on behalf of DGEA, we wanted to thank you for your support of the community, schools, and children. As teachers, we know that we have a great community and district in which we work, and you've had a direct responsibility in that, and we thank you each and every one of you for that time. Sorry, they couldn't make thank it. You. Like a big union thing <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, and the followers of the well. GA as well. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Okay. If not, uh, is there a motion to adjourn Sendai? Uh, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. And the motion carried. The meeting is adjourned Sendai at uh, 5.23 p.m. All right, welcome again. We're going to call the meeting to order. This is the reorganization meeting of the Downers Grove Grade School District 58 Board of Education, Thursday, April 5th at 5.30 p.m. at Longfellow Center. Melissa, will you please call roll? Member Doshi. Here. Member Hannes. Here. Member Harris. Here. Member Olchik. Here. Member Samanti. Here. Member Weiner. Here. Member Hughes. Here. The protocol for reorganizing the new board is for the president of the old board to serve as a temporary chairman. With Doug Purcell leaving the board, tradition would be to have the most senior board member act as chair. The first order of business is going to be to elect a president. So at this time, we'll open for nominations. Now, nominations are now in order for the office of president. I nominate Darren Hughes. Are there any other nominations? All right, nominations at this time for president are now closed. Darren Hughes has been nominated to serve as president of the District 58 Board of Education. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Motion is carried. Thank you. <laughs> We will now uh, take nominations for a vice president. Nominations are now in order for the office of vice president. I'll nominate Gregory Harris. Are there any other nominations? Okay, nominations for vice president are closed. Gregory Harris has been nominated to serve as vice president of District 58 Board of Education. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Motion is carried. All right. Now we're on to approving the establishment. I think they're already in their oh. seats. Oh, You're yes, we don't have to. We do not have to move around. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, approve the establishment of board secretary stipend. Is there a motion to approve the establishment of the board secretary stipend at $8,040 for the 2019 through 2020 school year and $8,362 for the 2020 through 2021 school year? So moved. Yes. Second. Melissa, will you please call roll? Member Harris. Aye. Member Olchik. Aye. Member Samanti. Aye. Member Weiner. Aye. Member Doshi. Aye. Member Hannes. Aye. Member Hughes. Aye. Motion carried to approve the establishment of the board secretary stipend at $8,040 for the 2019 through 2020 school year and $8,362 for the 2020 through 2021 school year. Next, we will appoint a secretary. Is there a motion to appoint Melissa Jervis as secretary of the District 58 Board of Education for a two-year term? So moved. Second. Melissa, will you please call roll? Member Samanti. Aye. Member Weiner. Aye. Member Doshi. Aye. Member Hannes. Aye. Member Harris. Aye. Member Olchik. Aye. Member Hughes. 
Aye. Motion carried to appoint Melissa Jervis as board secretary for a two-year term. Next, is there a motion to establish the regular meeting date of the Board of Education as the second Monday of each month at 7 p.m.? The fourth Monday of each month shall be reserved for consideration of items concerning the instructional program or other as aspects of district operations, which may require more detailed consideration. These workshop meetings will be held at school sites. Is there a motion? So moved. A second? Second. Any Melissa? discussion? Yeah. Any discussion on that? Um, I, I think uh, we need to clarify that the location. Oops, my apologies. The location for the regular meetings um, needs to be set as well. Um, I think, unless you, unless I it is not can no. read it. Okay. Um, I believe the intention was to set the location as um, Village Hall. Um, I, you may need to reread that motion. I apologize. Okay. Yeah. Right. We do anything for the space to be reserved, or is that already secured? It is already secured. Okay. okay, is there a motion to establish the regular meeting date of the Board of Education as the second Monday of each month at 7 p.m. at Downers Grove Village Hall? The fourth Monday of each month shall be reserved for consideration of items concerning the instruction program or other aspects of district operations which may require more detailed consideration. These workshop meetings will be held at school sites. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Right. Melissa, will you please call roll? Member Doshi. Aye. Member Hannes. Aye. Member Harris. Aye. Member Olchik. Aye. Member Samanti. Aye. Member Weiner. Aye. Member Hughes. Aye. Motion carried to establish regular meeting dates of the board. Next up is a discussion of committee appointments uh, with each of you. Uh, New board members, I had an opportunity to reach out to you in advance to talk to you about the boards, what they do, and uh, where your interests may lie. Uh, as a general policy, what we try to do is, especially with the turnover of superintendent happening this July, was to keep a um, existing board member seated on every uh, committee and then um, try to fill in everybody. And I think for the most part, we were able to get everybody uh, where they wanted. So I have it right now as uh, Jill Samante chairing the Policy Committee with Tracy Weiner, the Legislative Committee, uh, Farad Doshi with Emily Hannes, the District Leadership Team, Darren Hughes with Tracy Weiner, and the Financial Advisory Committee with myself and Steve Olchek. Is there any discussion on that? And then as part of the Legislative Committee, we're uh, appointing uh, uh, Emily is our primary LEND representative with Karat is sort of secondary on that as well since they've offered that. Okay. Yes, we have a secret handshake over here too. You guys don't want to We already have. We're past that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the left side. All right, if there's no more discussion on committee appointments, uh, we're going to move on to the SACID board rep and alternative rep. Is there a motion to adopt a resolution appointing Greg Harris as the representative and Emily Hannes as the alternate representative to SASID Board of Control and appointing Greg Harris as representative and Emily Hannes as alternative representative to the SASID Governing Board? So moved. Second? Aye. Aye. Second. Yeah. Uh, is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried to adopt the resolution appointing Greg Harris as representative and Emily Hannes as alternate representative to the SACID Board of Control and appointing Greg Harris as representative and Emily Hannes as alternative representative to the SACID Governing Board. At this time, we'll open it up to reception of visitors. This is an opportunity for members of the audience to share comments with the board. I don't believe we're doing any cards tonight, so at this time, if anyone would like to speak, please stand up, state your name, and your attendance area. Okay. If there's nothing else, um, that about wraps it up for tonight. Uh, is there a, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Meeting is adjourned at 539. So, I'll your passes. Meeting